This is CNN with Jamie Cooper. And this is a live edition of CNN on this Tuesday morning. The first portion of this news brought to you by the Athens News Courier. Let's get it cranking this morning. News Courier this morning has local state seats up for grab. We'll talk with Ronnie Marks a little bit later on this morning, too, about this and about the city council meeting last night. As 2010 gets underway, many hopefuls are preparing to run for public office. This election year, dozens of state and federal seats are up for grab, including those of government, Governor, Lieutenant Governor, Attorney General, and post in the U.S. Congress. Limestone Counties will be voting for Alabama Representative District 4, 5, 25, and Senators District 2nd and 3rd. Local seats, County Commission Chairman, Commission Districts 1, 2, Board of Education, and Sheriff's Department. All right, speaking of Sheriff's Department, I want to thank Carlene Neese for these photographs last night. <clears throat> During Mike Blakely's kickoff announcement down at the Veterans Museum, we got a few photographs from that, so here they are. Big crowd. Ronnie says it was a packed house last night as uh, Governor Blakely, oh, I shouldn't call him governor yet, Mike Blakely announced he's going to re be reelected for sheriff. There he is right there with Christy Voss, district attorney. And Ronnie will talk about that in just a moment. What a big crowd they had down that way. Congratulations, Mike Blakely, running for another 30 years in office. <laughs> I think this will be the first year that Gloria and I have ever been able to vote for Mike. I've been supporting him ever since he's been elected, but never been able to vote for him. All right, Dr. Bob Glenn here. University considered buying Clubhouse building on Downtown Square. Athens State University may soon have a presence on the Downtown Square. Ronnie may know a little bit more about this later on, too. So uh, university officials are negotiating with a local Boys and Girls Club to purchase the building in which the organization runs the clubhouse, which includes a cafe, office, and meeting spaces. That'd be a great place for Athens State to own a TV station. Hmm. I don't know how that's going to work. We'll find out later. But anyway, Dr. Bob Glenn and his staff are gathering information now to put stuff on there. Now, uh, city officials, they... Uh, last night voted to vacate a road that it never owned. Ronnie will explain this in a little bit, too. The Athens City Council on Monday officially abandoned a driveway, which over the decades has become a cutoff for drivers between U.S. 72 and Clinton Street. Ronnie will explain how that works, too. Hey, don't forget, the Roma of Good Eats fills air as hospice chili challenge. That's this Saturday at 10 o'clock. Now, we'll talk more about that in just a moment, too. It's the hottest ticket in town. Now, as always, for like the sixth or seventh year in a row, Gloria and I will be there early videotaping all these fine folks to put into a half-hour special that'll start running here in about a week on ZTV 11. So we'll f appreciate you folks that help us sponsor that. Hey, they finally got, Ann Lawrence got what she deserved. Locked up. There she is right there in handcuffs. News Courier Publisher Ann Lawrence is handcuffed Friday by the Athens Police Department. She was taken away for a good cause, the annual jail bail. Nobody would come up with $20, so she had to spend the night there. I'm just kidding. All right, congratulations to the Clements girls. They won big over Coldwater, the two-time defending champion over at Hansville the other day. They played this afternoon at 4 o'clock in Birmingham to advance on into the final. So good luck with them. And That's a great photograph of the kids winning that championship in the 2A over there. So congratulations to everybody. Sonia Marks over there and the Clements. Good luck this afternoon. Now, you know, when you say big dog, well, now I'm talking big dog. This out of the News Courier this morning. The photo by the Guinness World Record shows Giant George, a great Dane from Arizona. He's three feet seven inches tall from paw to shoulder, which is three quarters of an inch taller than his closest rival. He weighs 250 pounds. He's four years old. That's a big dog. How'd you like to pick up that with some, a duty scooper? And you saw our ad in the paper this morning in the News Courier. Send your favorite photos to Cooper & Company, now live streaming all over the world. So now what we're going to try to do is get folks from all over to start sending us your favorite photographs. We'll talk more about that in the second portion of the program this morning. That's it for the News Courier on this Tuesday morning.